uh, for some reason, many people have found themselves um, disappointed to how the EFF has reacted to the IEC's rigged election results. And most people don't understand that actually they're not disappointed in the EFF. They're disappointed in the results that came out. And because they expected so much from the EFF, the disappointment makes them to find someone to blame. And the leadership of the EFF is not doing a good job as to managing the emotions of their voters and a reaction on how they respond to the election results. I've been very careful as to what I say about the EFF since the elections because I want I don't want to find myself decampaigning the EFF for the future. But I want to listen to what the leadership of the EFF is saying carefully and then make sure that we respond to the words, the choice of words that they are using right now. Let's start with Julius Silo Malema. Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I'm your host, King053, Mr. Easy Imali Enengi Nengi. And we're back at it again with another one. And this time around, we finally try to speak about the EFF. This is not my initial response to the EFF. Um, what, what must we call it? It's behavior lately. Unlike behavior lately. Um... It's called it's a coalition time, you know, negotiation time, and the EFF is playing a strategic um, uh, point and trying to stay neutral as much as possible. And um, this is might be and this might turn out to be good for them because they want to gain more than what their voters has given them, and a coalition government is exactly that. You know, you're going to compromise here and there. But I think with the EFF getting only 9.5%, they only stand to gain in a coalition government, no matter what type of a coalition government it, it may be. Maybe uh, with ANC, ANC, PA, and uh, the EFF, the EFF is still going to gain. ANC, Mkonto, Wesizwe. And the EFF, the EFF is still going to gain. So they are playing a very, they are playing the game right now. They're playing the political game. Uh, we need to analyze it properly. Let's start with Julius Malema and how, what, what are Julius Malema's thoughts on coalition right now? Um, MK, we are relatives. We are together. Uh, we, we, if they I had to do saying they don't want to work with the ANC, they, that, there's no problem. But now we'll work with them. We'll work with the ANC and work with them also. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, we are not far from each other. We are, we are one thing uh, uh, with MK. So there's absolutely no crisis. I agree if MK doesn't want to work with the ANC national and then we work with the ANC National. There's nothing stopping us to work with MK in Guazul Natan, uh, 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 and also in Khauti. Uh, so um, Pumalanga as well. So there's no problem. There's no animosity between uh, MK and uh, the EFF. So that's what uh, you guys, throughout this campaign, you were trying by all means to, to try and create a division uh, and, and we refused to uh, fall into that. Um, uh, yeah, M M Floyd w will be a minister of finance if they agree, these people, because uh, 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 He's the most qualified in all respect. Uh, none of the people they've put there 
have got uh, the understanding of that institution better than uh, Floyd. Very interesting, very interesting points or point of view that Mr. Malema gives us. Ah, mm, yeah, okay. Like I said, the EFF leadership cannot hide their disappointment in the elections. On King said so, what we do very good is to analyze people's um, voice tone, to analyze people's facial expression, to analyze um, people's body language. And all three of those, Julius Malema is failing. His posture of his body, I'm not sure is he cold, is he sick, or what is going on, but I don't like his posture. I don't like his facial expression. I don't like... Um, I don't listen there's nothing that i like about what julius malema said let me let me just say it like that in pumegi there's nothing that i like about what julius malema said but but um he did say he is he's a relative to umkonto wesizu um i wouldn't be saying Josie and i'm fled shimambo while trying to somewhat attack the mk party if we were to be honest towards the tail end of the campaigning they were trying to say, listen, Zuma is old, let him rest, EFF is the future, rightfully so. Um, but right now, obviously, everyone must everyone must consider MK. Whether it's in KwaZulu-Natal, nationally, <laughs> Pumalanga, Gauteng, wherever, you must consider the MK. And I believe the MK will be an easy, easy party to work with for the, the, the ANC, provided, obviously, that who Sira Ramaphosa goes. And um, the problem with the M with the EFF is that they say, compared to the MK, they're, they're never clear. They say, no, we are open to talk to everyone. Ha. Everyone, including the DA. Why is it that black parties like the M uh, like can't do what the MK is doing? To say, listen, we're not, we do, we're not interested to talk to the DA. ANC, if you don't want to get rid of Sira Ramaphosa, we're not interested to talking to you too also. There's other avenues that we can follow. We're not here for power. If power means that we must drop our principles as a country that has suffered for the past five years under the leadership of that man, if that is that if that is the power that you're talking about, the MK has made it clear that they don't want to talk to the ANC. Principle matters. The, M the EFF is saying, ah, we'll talk to everyone, including the DA. No, man. What is wrong with our people? Yes, rightfully so. He did add, like, listen, we are not going to obviously find ourselves with the DA. We are uh, direct opposites. The DA has made it clear that they don't want the, the, A the, the EFF. I would have loved the, the EFF to also make it clear that they don't want the DA. So that these white people can know that the black people are here to unite. They're going to find a, a unity together somewhere in the corner where we are not involved. You understand? Uh, let's get into that issue of the, the open border. Um, the journalist uh, continued to ask Julius Malema about the open border. Now, before he answer, think about how Mwisa um, Nintrusi answers the question of open border and think about how I answer the question of open borders. Um, border, open border, we're supporting foreigners and all of that. Okay, if this issue is the one that has costed elections for the EFF, why didn't it, this issue give Mashaba votes? Mm. It's not true what you are saying. Rena problem ya rena, MK. MK took our votes, which it borrowed to us in 2019. There's no any other explanation other than that. If this issue was a concerning issue in South Africa, Gaten McKenzie, Mabahambe, Mabahambe with two seats, Mabahambe, they didn't help anyone with anything. You are not going to be made to compromise a principle to please non-existing voters. Our voters understand our message very well. Our open border policy is, we want Africa that is one. But you cannot do that before 
you develop the other economies of Africa, and you do the you develop the economies of other African continents through making it easy for goods and services to move around the continent and individuals to move around the continent so that we help develop the continent. These people don't want to come here for the sake of coming here. They want jobs, they want greener pastures. We are a big country, we've got a huge capacity. We can develop their countries and benefit out of that in a huge way. And it's not something that you get elected today. Tomorrow you'll be carrying gates around you in a bag where we've removed these gates. Come, come. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. You guys are just vulgarizing the whole point. People, 40 something thousand people, I mean, 40, 41 percent. of those voters voted for the ANC which is the one that brought these people here this, these people are here already undocumented, they were brought by the ANC, why are 41,000, I mean 41% voting for the ANC still because if you hate these foreigners so much you must hate even a party that has made it possible for these foreigners to enter South Africa who has benefited from these xenophobic attacks in these elections? No one. Operation Dodola was contesting elections. They are not going to get anything. Back to the village where they come from. <laughs> Don't have time. Obet, how do you vote? South Africa. Obet. So, we, 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 we are refusing. We are refusing to switch off oxygen machines. Mm -hmm. And if you comrades are saying, that thing is the one that is costing us vote, I'll let it continue costing us vote. We are refusing to switch off uh, machines. We are refusing to deny children, African children, to study in our schools. Yeah, very good response from Mr. Malema. <clears throat> it could have been better. It could have been much better. Listen, let me start by the tail end of his, his, his answering, which was very, uh, which was the part that I think was good, is that this thing of saying the EFF lost votes because of um, the border uh, or African stance, African policy, border policy uh, standing, it's not true. Like he's, he rightfully says, if it was true, then um, the, the, the Patriotic Alliance or Action SA would have gained much more votes than what they did because they are clearly against African brothers, especially the PA. The PA did well, did well. Yes, they only have two seats, <laughs> you know. Yes, did well, good, yeah, very good. Uh, um, you know, they, they're not going to make a, much of a dent. Do they have two seats or about six or whatever? But anyway, insignificant amount to make anyone go crazy about it. What I don't like, again, with uh, Julius Malema is that I have taught these people how to explain the open border system. You know, and um, it's like he's not applying his mind when he's answering this question. Because if he answers this question um, right, the, the way we answered it, me and Buisan and Josie, he's not going to have to repeat himself. Like people are going to get it the first time. I've had people on the comment session who, uh, when I explained the open border uh, um, strategy, the, the African, what do you call it, uh, uh, the African integration border system, when I explain it properly, people get it. They, oh, King, I understand what you're saying. When we say integration, what other departments must integrate so that we can have a unified, consolidated database system of all Africans moving around with, de with, with fingerprints? How all home affairs must be united. There must be a central-based home affairs system that can give you um, a information-based um, uh, breakdown of anyone 
as long as they they have a fingerprint. You understand? Or a lover who don't have a fingerprint will have to make a plan. But those who have a fingerprint, they need to be an, a central identifying um, department that can, when you put your finger there, it tells everyone who you are, where you're from, what crimes you created, what job you, you had, and everything. It, your information must just be there on that on that on that on that, uh, on that um, system and also the police departments need to be um, integrated working together different police uh, men must be able to work in different countries not only in one country there needs to be a pay a central payroll that pays this policemen that can work um, in different countries they need to, we need to uh, unify our <clears throat> border system when you get to the border, you must not pass the South African border, then pass the Zimbabwean border. There must be one border, whether you come in this side or come in that side. And it must work on the basis of fingerprint detection and information that is consolidated into one data. I don't want to go much, much deeper. But also with that, we said how we're going to find that is go, is going through other countries that don't have... Uh, that are not as developed as South Africa and we open our minds there because every southern country in Africa has got minerals that are not um, utilized optimally. So let me not get into that. Julius Malema can do much better when answering uh, this question. But I like what he said. If, if um, the latter was true, then it means that uh, MK, not MK, the PA and um, Action SA would have gotten more votes because of their discriminative uh, policies that they have. I don't wish the PA anything. And I, I love my African, um, my colored people. I, I'm, I'm happy that they are finally represented um, in, um, in parliament, man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that there's, there's going to be uh, a lot of colored people there. Uh, it's about time. It's been it's been too long, but let me let me get into this thing of tribalism and uh, also um, um, Julius Malema saying Ramaphosa is not a problem. Ah, we don't want votes of tribalists, by the way. We don't want votes of racists. We don't want votes uh, of people who thrive on the division of the working class. We don't want regionalistic politics. That's why we are national in character. And we reject, we reject regionalistic politics. We reject tribalism. Because tribalism is equal to racism. Once we start engaging in tribalistic politics as a country, you must be rest assured. We are, we are inviting a disaster in this country. Because the worst thing with tribalism is that it will lead uh, to a situation where people fight in the same country. It will, it will lead to a civil war. Tribalism goes straight to civil war. That's why we don't subscribe to those things. Someone was saying, why are the Limpopo people not voting for Malema in Limpopo? The Limpopo people are voting for the EFF. I don't want to be voted by the people of Limpopo on the basis of me coming from Limpopo. Ah, uh -uh, I don't want that. It's the EFF is not from Limpopo. It's Julius Malema who's from Limpopo, not EFF. So don't want to locate our organization into some province. We are a national organization. That's why we fight battles in every corner of South Africa, and we're going to continue doing that. Whether we are in government or not, we're going to fight for our people. We're not going to behave here like uh, uh, people who are riding on a high horse uh, and then abandon the character of fighting for our people. We will continue to fight for our people. Um, uh, uh, and what gives us courage is the, the young vote from the universities. It means we are growing with a generation. The old will die, the new will emerge. So, but uh, uh, well, I used to say Ramaphosa is a big problem and all of that. <laughs> now, that issue is not my problem. <laughs> it's not my problem. <laughs> or Ramaphosa, okay, president, or I say president, that's not my president. 
It's a president of those things. So we are, don't involve me in the... We, we are going to bring our list. People are going to bring their list. And I will put together. Yes. So if we didn't want drama pause, why didn't you vote him out and stop asking us to do things that you didn't do? You had an opportunity to vote Ramaphosa out. You didn't do it. You know Malema will do it. Eh? Do it yourself. The ANC has got all the right to remove Ramaphosa if they want. We are not getting involved there. We don't want. Ramaphosa is not our preferred cup of tea. It's not, it's not our preferred. But he, he, he can't be a deal breaker. We don't prefer him. We know that he was a collaborator. We know that he, he's got billions, but he's, he, he doesn't produce anything. He is not in manufacturing. He's not in agriculture. How do you become a billionaire like that? You do that by selling out your own people. So uh, we can say a lot about Ramaphosa, but he's not an EFF president. So we choose EFF leaders. Even who's going to parliament, uh, uh, to cabinet, it will be us who choose from the EFF side and then they will choose from their side. They can bring a person you hate so much. You have not won elections. Win elections and appoint the people you love. So there's nothing you can do. We are here. That's where we are. Guys, I've addressed this thing of tribalism. I've just watched the... Um the video of of Jacob Zuma. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to upload them the same day. So just watch that video. I've explained tribalism in length. And um, this time around, tribalism, like I said in that video, is being intertwined with um, terrorism, terrorism. Like white people are intimidated to see us black people uniting. And some of the black people are falling into the trap of, of also labeling controversies as Zulu people as, as tribalists when they are standing up for, for African people. African people. We must unite as the African people. We must stop voting for white parties and vote and, uh, within the black, the black parties. And also the black parties, Zingabis Ningi. There are too many uh, black parties. There is no tribalism that is happening. And yes, uh, Limpopo should not vote for, uh, what you call, uh, should not vote for uh, Malema because he comes from Limpopo. Why is it that uh, Jacob Zuma was losing, <laughs> you guys, was losing the Nkanda ward, I think it's ward three, where he stays? Nobody said anything about tribalism. But now because he's winning that ward, then it's tribalism. That nonsense must stop. That nonsense must stop. It's, it's not tribalism. Watch my other video. I'll explain it in length. I think more than five minutes I'm speaking about tribalism there. So I don't, I don't like that, that we are linking. Uh, you know, people are standing up. Whether it's a Tswana Pedi, Tsonga, Venda, Ndebele person, standing up for African people. It just so happens that this time around, it's a Zulu man that is doing that. But supported by all provinces, by the way. All provinces, you find them controversies. Of, by the way. And so, you know, the, the same as all provinces are supporting the EFF. So what tribalism is there when black people are uniting? Stop this thing. Guys. Don't fall into this trap of, uh, because mainstream media will keep on repeating tribalism, tribalism, tribalism. They've been doing it for the past two months now. And now it's gaining traction. They're even employing a special uh, pol additional police to the KwaZulu Natal just to intimidate people about this thing of tribalism. <laughs> I don't like the fact that uh, Abu Chulas Malema are now turning because, I, uh, like I said, it, uh, building up to the elections, I said I don't want to pull out old videos and play them and say, but Malema, this is what you said. This is what you said. Julius Malema clearly said it was in an interview with Faith Mongope or whatever of, uh, of um, uh, Metro FM, he said, we will not by any means work with Cyril Ramaphosa. If the ANC wants to keep Cyril Ramaphosa there, then we will not work with them. Today he has changed, shifting the blame to the, to the um, uh, electorate 
uh, to the voters to say, listen, you guys, you did not vote the, MC, uh, the, the ANC out. So why do you expect us to remove that guy? I don't like that attitude from Julius Malema. Stay, uh, stay a principled man. If you say you don't want to work with this person, don't work with that person. It must not be uh, what the, 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 the people voted for. It must be a principal thing to say, we are not working with this person, full stop. Don't blame the, the other people. Don't do it. Don't do it. Say before the elections, we said we will not work with, with one, two, three, and continue with that number. It's after the elections, we, the EFF, are still principled on saying we will not work with this person. But now because, <laughs> hey, buddy talks, political parties, they're changing their tune. It's not good for the EFF. These type of things haunt you in the future. Don't change. Don't, don't change uh, based on you wanting the financial, um, um, what you call, financial uh, ministry for Floyd Shibam. Don't do that. Do not do that you see so yes um, you know before the mk was announced the campaigning was based on uh killing the image of the eff because the EM eff was seen as the biggest threat the Oppenheimers funded these people to say attack that man for the borders attack that man for the land attack that man for the nationalization of strategic sectors that was what was happening before the mk came the mk came it was it was too late for for white monopoly that's why you saw in the last quarter uh, meaning uh, in the first quarter of the year january february march april they, they 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 tried to fund the political parties even more than what they did in the past you know trying to fight that you guys must get votes <laughs> i think he he rise got um one uh one vote one seat or something like that anyway so, yes, that is what is happening there. Um, it is true what Julius Malema is saying there. So, like I said, the difference between the ANC, uh, the, the MK, ANC, the MK and the EFF, so late, man, Junior Lala, I mean, the MK and the EFF is that the MK stays principled in the decisions that they, they make. The EFF tends to change. It's not, uh, I don't want to say flip flop. Because what he's saying, the people did not vote uh, Cyril out. So why do you want us to do things? I don't like that attitude. You guys can go on the comment section. Uh, listen, this is, uh, like I said, this is not my official address of the EFF's posture in the past few days. It's not my official address. I'm still going to, I'm still gathering strength. So let me go and rest now. I will address the EFF properly. But you tell me for now what you feel in the comment section in terms of body language, facial expression, and um, a voice tone. You guys tell me. What are you discerning? What are you discerning? Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for so much for the support that you guys have shown us on the sister channel, African Mojolo with your boy King. You guys, thank you so much, guys. Please click the subscribe button that side. Click the subscribe button this side. Let's get to these 30,000 subscribers, guys. Let's grow this channel. Thank you so much, guys. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. After you pray, stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace in pan-Africanism. I salute you.